Hello! So I'm gonna make another video for two things. One, this pizza, ranch crust, it doesn't taste like ranch at all. I have also eaten nearly the entire pizza, but so don't blame me. I didn't have lunch anyway, but it tastes like popcorn, like really heavily salted icky popcorn. Nah, my lips are like puffing up. Anyway, um, I told my boyfriend because we don't talk about that kind of stuff and we've been together for almost nine months so I can like I feel comfortable talking about things he'll fart in front of me next to me almost almost once he farted on me mm -mm. okay but anyway so I think I could talk about underwear and I was thinking because I went to I didn't go I lied I was sitting in my bed probably eating chocolate but I bought a bra from Forever 21 and it was like a whopping $7. Crazy! I am cheap. I am poor also as I paid for all of this in tip money and my laundry money. This pizza. It'd be damn good. It's too salty to, to cost my laundry money. Anyway, I went and I was like, I told her, I was like, I am gonna buy more bras. I'm gonna buy some sexy underwear because I need to update my wardrobe. Literally. You know everybody has like the underwear that they're like, oh, these are really cute, so I'm going to wear those on certain days. And then you're like, oh, these are not very cute, and I'm going to wear these when I don't see someone, like your boyfriend or something like that. Or like, oh, man, I'm out of laundry. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of clothes. I need to do laundry. And then those, that's the time when you like put on like a fedora and sweatpants and really weird, not... Underwear, not uh, underwear that you should not have in your collection anymore. That being said, I decided to check out the Victoria's Secret, of which I have never shopped at. And I haven't shopped there because it's so expensive. First of all, why do I need to pay $38 for a cheeky panty? It's, it's so long. It's your butt. That is the cheek thing. I don't need to pay that. Embellished? Who needs their underwear embellished? I have, like, I bought a... A black lace bra with like a the cream cup thing and Jack was like whoa I don't even want you to take that off because it's really attractive I'm like hey, 780 but <laughs> I'm a bargain shopper so I was thinking you know they're like really big on their sexy underwear maybe I'll just buy like sexy underwear for <laughs> for a, a special occasion such as my roommate's going away for all of the break. Sorry. My roommate's going away for all of Christmas break and I'll be in my apartment all by myself. Which will be sad. So I will ask Jack to come over a few times. And as I have mentioned to you, because we cannot do anything activity wise, outside activity wise, we end up doing a lot of indoor activity things. So <sighs> I thought it was a good idea to check out some sexy underwear. I mean, I'll just walk around the house naked, or nearly naked, now that I don't have my roommate here. I can just, just gallivant everywhere, all in my nakedness. But anyway, I went and I saw this bow thing. Okay, first of all, I would like to ask, what is a V-string? I've heard of G-string, and I've heard of thongs, which, by the way, I've never bought a G-string because I've experienced a thong. and. Normally, I have a larger butt. Yes, I realize this. I definitely have a butt, and I definitely have my curves, and I love my curves. But I bought a large thong, and it was huge, and I had the problem where it was, like, too big. And then, like, I could, like, stick it up to here, you know, and look really sexy with my, like, ugh, 80s underwear thing. Or I could just not wear it ever. Or have it, like, hang where it's supposed to, and then it's, like much there's not I don't have there's not enough spandex to stick it to. anyway so I was looking at these I don't know where I was going with that oh yes what is a v-string but I don't understand thongs because they don't cover up anything maybe that's your point but I mean and then if it's like not exactly fit to your body it's gonna be uncomfortable and then you get like this string fabric thing going all up in your butt I don't I don't find that comfortable I mean if you personally love to have like fabric wedged in your butt then go you awesome tell me how you actually endure that all day 
But I was looking at this one thing. It's like a V-string bow. And I'm like, oh, that's cute if you didn't have an ass. But if you do have an ass, it's going to be like, oh, look, your butt bow. But you, you don't need that. Also, why is a cheap bow, the ones you get at, like, Mark's or, like, a, the dollar store that you stick on, like, wreaths and stuff that's always, like, crinkly and never perfect like it's supposed to be and that and that's on your underwear why is that $22 you're paying for like a piece of fabric that goes this way and then maybe like one or two that go this way I don't understand why you would and the bow oh yeah the 98 cent bow why would you charge $22 for that and for the embellished one which was a g-string why would you pay $38 for that are you kidding me I could buy like three dresses at Forever 21 for that and I would, as much as I would love to have at least one thing from Victoria's Secret, because everybody's like, ah, oh, it's the sexy underwear, and it's really comfortable, and it lasts forever. I doubt that bow lasts forever. You can't wear it underpants. What if you don't get to change in between, like, your day, and then your, your nakedness? I mean, you'd be like, oh, I gotta run to the bathroom so I can change into my bow. That's not practical. Maybe I'm too practical for Victoria's Secret. But as for me, I think, unless it's on Super Sale, and it actually, maybe I'm too much of a prude, too. With my butt not needing to hang out or get a wedgie. I prefer boy shorts, which also work great with dresses and don't get stuck up your ass. So I'm going to stick with my Forever 21 stuff. Be cheap, but be comfortable. And not... Stick a 98 cents. Oh, I'm a butt. Or have little sequins on. Jack will have to deal. Whatever. This is the end of this rant.